Hi students, so as a part of the types of polymerization, so today I am going to discuss uh, the third type of polymerization, which is the last type of polymerization by which we can uh, convert the monomeric units into the polymeric units or polymers is the copolymerization. Copolymerization. So first and foremost, let us discuss about uh, what exactly is a copolymerization. This polymerization involves the repeated combination of two or more than two different unsaturated monomeric units. Two or more than two different unsaturated monomeric units resulting in the formation of high molecular weight organic polymer. This polymerization involves the repeated combination of two or more than two different unsaturated monomeric units resulting in the formation of high molecular weight organic polymer. So based upon the definition, it is very clear that unsaturated monomeric units are the monomers. That is unsaturated organic molecules are the monomeric units. But there is a similarity between the addition or chain growth polymerization which is the first type of uh, the polymerization by which the monomeric units can be, can be converted into the polymer and the third, uh, third type of uh, polymerization which is copolymerization. The similarity between this addition or chain growth polymerization and copolymerization is the starting materials or the monomeric units required either by the addition or chain growth polymerization or by the copolymerization is one and same that is unsaturated monomeric units only. That is which class of organic molecules comes under the category of unsaturated uh, organic molecules students? Alkenes and alkynes. So in both the cases, that is addition or chain growth polymerization and copolymerization, copolymerization, the monomeric units are one and same, that is unsaturated, that is alkenes and alkynes. So this is a similarity of uh, this addition or chain growth polymerization and the copolymerization. Now let us discuss what is the difference between the addition or chain growth polymerization and the copolymerization. The only difference between the addition or chain growth polymerization and copolymerization is in the case of addition or chain growth polymerization, single unsaturated monomeric unit undergo the polymerization whereas in the case of uh, copolymerization two or more than two different unsaturated monomeric units undergo polymerization so that is the difference between uh, the addition or chain growth polymerization and copolymerization so as a part of the copolymerization let us discuss one example which is resulted by the copolymerization Right. So that example about which I am going to discuss, which is being resulted by the copolymerization is Puna S rubber. Puna S rubber, or it is also called as styrene butadiene rubber, or it is also called as GRS rubber. GR stands for government and S stands for styrene. Now with the first name, we can know what are the starting materials. That is, what are the monomeric units required for the preparation or synthesis of uh, the Buna S rubber. That is, Buna stands for 1,3-butadiene. Buna stands for 1,3-butadiene. Butadiene. Whereas S stands for styrene. S stands for styrene. Now, already I have explained that during the addition or chain growth polymerization and condensation or step growth polymerization is the most toughest part to write any preparation or synthesis of the polymer is to remember the starting materials. So, to remember the starting materials. 
and uh, by the first name of this particular uh, preparation or synthesis we came to know that one of the starting material one of the monomeric unit which is required for the synthesis or preparation of uh, one three beta diene that synthesis or preparation of vina s rubber is one three beta diene and other starting material or monomeric unit which is required for the preparation or synthesis of uh, vina s rubber is styling now what is the next task students we have to know the structure of each and every monomeric unit which is undergoing the polymerization resulting in the formation of a polymer right. now one three beta diene and styrene both are the monomeric units which are required for the preparation or synthesis of vina s rubber or styrene beta diene rubber or drs rubber now with the help of uh, the name, we can get the structure of 1,3-butadiene and uh, in the previous class also I have explained the structure of 1,3-butadiene. So coming to styrene, what is styrene? Let us see the styrene. How to get the structure of styrene? In order to get the structure of styrene, do remember student, I am not going to discuss about the preparation or synthesis of the styrene. Just in order to get the structure of styrene, I am giving a tip. Do remember this. It doesn't mean that with the help of uh, the starting material which I am starting with, we are going to prepare the styrene. Keep this in our mind. So in order to get the structure of the styrene only, I am giving, uh, I am giving the tip for you. Styrene is the derivative of ethene. Styrene is the derivative of ethene which is formed by replacing one of the hydrogen from one carbon of ethene by benzene ring or phenyl ring. Phenyl ring. So what is ethene students? CH2 double bond CH2. CH2 double bond CH2. Right? Just I am elaborating the structure as CH2 double bond CH. So another H I am writing here. Another H I am writing here. So if this hydrogen is replaced by phenyl group, if this is hydrogen is replaced by phenyl group, phenyl group or the benzene group, then we can say that it is the styrene. So accordingly, the styrene is CH2 double bond CH. CH2 double bond CH phenyl group. Right? Do you remember students? In order to get the structure of the styrene, first and foremost, we have to remember the structure of the ethene. It is very easy to remember the structure of ethene. Ethene is CH2 double bond CH2. Now, what we need to do is just elaborate the structure of uh, the ethene in such a manner that one of the hydrogen from one carbon is visible to us. Now, if this hydrogen is replaced by the phenyl group or the benzene group, then it becomes a styrene. This is styrene. This is styrene. I hope you understood the structure of the styrene students. Please note on this. So, styrene and betadine. Both are the monomeric units which are required for the preparation of uh, the Buna S or styrene rubber or styrene butyrene rubber or GRS rubber. GR stands for bone membrane. Now, one thing here I want to discuss before uh, going to explain the preparation or synthesis of uh, the Buna S rubber is yes. we have to note that we have to note that in the case of uh, the two structures, 1,3-butadiene and the styrene, the functionality, the function group present in both the monomeric unit is one and same, that is double bond. The functionality present in both these monomeric units which are required for the preparation or synthesis of the, of the styrene rubber or styrene-butadiene rubber is one and same. What is that students? Double bond. Now since the functional group present in both of the monomeric unit is one and same, there is a need to differentiate uh, both these molecules. 
in order to differentiate both these molecules we have to represent one of the monomeric unit by one alphabet another monomeric unit by another alphabet another alphabet what exactly it is we'll come to know now so m number of moles of m number of moles of 13 butadiene is the first monomeric unit 13 butadiene but stands for how many carbon students but stands for 1 2 3 4 now what we need to do we have to label the carbons 1 2 3 4 now it is 13 butadiene in stands for single double bond diene stands for two double bond and what is the position of uh, those two double bonds first and third position because it is 13 butadiene 1 3 now this is the basic skeleton of 13 uh, butadiene now in order to get the actual structure of organic molecule from the basic structure what we need to do we have to satisfy the valency of each and every carbon atom present in an organic molecule so in order to satisfy the valency of each and every carbon atom we have to ensure four bonds around each and every carbon atom of a organic molecule if it is lacking the bonds then we have to place the hydrogen atoms hydrogen atoms so accordingly students around around the carbon first carbon how many bonds are there one two so it is lacking two bonds so since it is lacking two bonds what we need to do we have to place the two hydrogens we have to place the two hydrogens right so around the second carbon one Two, three. So it is lacking one bond. What we need to do? We have to place one hydrogen here. One hydrogen. So around this third carbon, one, two, three. One, two, three are there. So it is lacking one bond. So we have to place one hydrogen. We have to place one hydrogen. Next double bond. Now carbon around this fourth carbon. How many are there? One, two, right? Two bonds are there, so it is lacking two bonds. So what we have to do? We have to place two hydrogens in order to satisfy the valency of the carbon atoms. Now we have satisfied the valency of each and every carbon atom in this particular molecule. So we can say that this is the structure of the. Desired molecule. What is the name of this structure? One three butadiene. One three butadiene. One three butadiene. Plus. What is another monomeric unit, students? Styrene. What is another monomeric unit which is required for the preparation or synthesis of buna s or styrene butadiene rubber or GRS rubber? Styrene. What is the styrene? Just now I have explained. CH two double bond CH phenyl group. Phenyl group. This is N. Now both undergo four polymerization. Four polymer. so already have discussed with you so this particular one of the monomeric unit required for the preparation or synthesis of vinyl rubber i have denoted it with m that is 13 butadiene which is one of the monomeric unit is denoted with m whereas another monomeric unit which is the styrene styrene is denoted by by another alphabet which is n what is the reason i have explained because in both the cases the functional group is one and same the functional group is double bond only 
the functional group is double bond only. So since the functional group is one ion same, there is a need to differentiate uh, these two molecules. In order to differentiate these two molecules, definitely some sort of difference should be there. And that difference uh, is by placing the two different alphabets. So that is the reason this particular monomeric unit 1,3-butadiene is represented by M or denoted by M. Another monomeric unit with the same functional group that is double bond is denoted or represented by N. Now dear students, I have explained in the previous class also that during the polymerization, whatever the double bonds and single bonds are present in the monomer, will be converted into single and double bond respectively in the polymer. And we have to make sure that these double and single bonds which are present in the same plane will be converted into single and double bond respectively in the polymer, not all the single and double bonds. Plane means, let us say that this is the plane. This is the plane. And here, this is the plane in the styrene moiety. Now, whatever the double and single bonds which are present in the same plane will be converted into single and double bond respectively. Now, this phenyl group is away the plane. So, since this phenyl group is away the plane, students, this single bond will not be converted into the double bond which can be explained on the basis of a resonance. I'm not going to explain uh, this particular polymerization in terms of resonance. I want to make, I want to make the topic uh, as simple as I can. So that is the reason I'm not explaining about the difficult terms as the mesomeric effect or resonance effect. But do remember that whatever the double and single bonds which are a part of the monomer will be converted into single and double bond respectively in the polymer which are only in the plane. Which are only in the plane. Now do remember that this phenyl group is not in the plane. So since this phenyl group is not in the plane, this single bond won't be converted into double bond. Is make a note of it. Now, accordingly, students. So, I whatever the number which is there before the monomeric unit becomes subscript in the polymer. Subscript in the polymer. Next, so both this, those, both these are the two different unsaturated monomeric units. So, since both are the two different unsaturated monomeric units undergo the copolymerization, resulting in the formation of a high molecular weight polymer which is CH2 there is no change students and the double bond will be converted into single bond next what is there CH is there next single bond will be converted into double bond next followed by CH the double bond will be converted into single bond followed by CH2 and whatever the number or alphabet which is there before the monomeric unit becomes subscript for the polymer. So what is the alphabet which is there? M. So it becomes a subscript in the case of polymer. Next, what is there students? CH2. This double bond is in the same plane. So this double bond will be converted into the single bond in the polymer. Double bond is converted into the single bond CH. Now this particular single bond is not there in the plane. Already I have explained. So since it is not there in the plane, now we can say that this single bond will be remained intact like that only. Now what is the alphabet which is there before the styrene? N is the alphabet which is before the styrene. Now it becomes a subscript in the polymer subscript in the polymer so this is your buna s rubber students buna s buna s i hope you understood this video so if any 
doubts or that you can comment in the comment box so thanks for watching